Okay. Um, all right. So, hi, everybody that is not on this video. Brittany's joining me. Brianne will be on in a second. Um, and this is the first team meeting. We're going to do this monthly um, and do different things. And whatever you guys want to talk about, we'll do like virtual sensi crafts and things on some of them. Um, we'll do a bunch of different stuff. But um, Brittany just asked a question and I was like, let me start this video recording so that people can an have that answered because I know people are going to ask it. Um, she was asking about um, what to say to people who are like, oh, go on this trip with me. Oh, you went on a trip with Sensi? Where did they take you when you haven't gone to gone on one before? Um, I have not been on a Sensi trip yet, so um, I'm definitely in that boat where um, people might ask that question. I've never been asked that question, so there is that, Brittany. Um, but I obviously know many of people who go on trips all the time with Sensi, um, and I sadly the very first my very first year um, I missed the incentive trip I like I misread it was the very first incentive thing I had done so um, I misread the qualifications and thought it said and thought it ended on February 31st instead of January 31st <laughs> um, and I missed the trip by like 500 points which sucked. <laughs> well, I was like, it, it wasn't $500 then. It was, the point system was different than this year's is. Um, and so, like, I would have had to, like, spend way, like, it, I if I had the money at the time, I probably would have spent the extra to do it. But I, um, it was, it was ridiculous. I was, like, really upset. Um, so we're going to talk about careful tracking of the incentive trip this time around for everybody um, and all of that, but I'll get into that in a moment. I have my handy dandy notebook and I've written stuff down. Um, but I think the thing is, is that I know people, I can show photos and things that happened with people that I know that went on incentive trips. Um, and like... Obviously, Christina is my sponsor and my director, um, and I've been with her, like, literally through almost her whole entire journey. Like, she joined in November 2011, and I joined in March 2012, so, like, only three months, four months separate us, um, and she just got last year's she's gotten the past couple of years incentives she got last year's which was hawaii um, they had a few options last year but she went to hawaii last year and then um she went to leadership which is in cancun but that one's a paid one you have to be a director or higher for that one um or win things like the summer incentive like the can do cancun this summer is for was for leadership um and then she went to Greece, obviously. She was a top 100, 100 earner. So I think it's just talking um, about what you know can happen. And I think the cool part is, is that no, you could say, like, no, I haven't earned one yet. I've only, you know, I've only been doing Sensi for X amount of time. Um, and I, you know, I haven't worked my business in a way that it, you know, where that was able to happen, but I want to. And so how about you join and we work on it together so we both get to go on this trip together. Does that make sense? Because I feel like a lot of... Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Um, and I'll be honest, summer incentive is really hard to earn. Like, it's doable, obviously. People do it. And um, it's definitely something that is possible. Otherwise, it wouldn't exist. Um, but it's hard to earn. And even, like... Christina, who's earned all the summer ones since we started, um, except for the first year, um, but the past two summers she's earned the summer one and even or earned the the fall incentive, but she's never earned a summer one. The summer ones are harder to earn. Um, kind of intentionally, the summer time is the hardest time to get sales too. Um, the hardest time for a lot of things because summer is a busy time for most people. Vacations, like you said, mowing lawns, life happens. Um, and I think, and maybe this is just my mindset right now because I've definitely, I will fully admit to like being the person who is like not fully worked my business. I would be a lot further right now if I worked my business this whole two and a half years the way I should have been. Um, and it, I think the point is, huh? I think, yeah, and she, she kind of, the nice part about that is, um, and it's harder for people to like, like you and me, Brittany, um, who we are dependent on ourselves. So like there has to, there has to be a, another job for a while and there has to be other things, um. She got forced almost into a situation where, like, she knew she wanted to do Sensi and she wanted to, to work it to get to a point where she could be at home with Everett and um, and not have to work for corporate, <laughs> um, which is totally awesome. And people do it the way we do it, and then people do it the way she did it, where she kind of got forced into it because she got let go from her job. And so she was like, well, we have enough money saved up. My, I am where I'm at. I'm doing well. So if I push hard enough, I can make it happen and not have to go back to a corporate job. Um, and she's married and has that ability too, where there's another income coming in. So they were, you know, could make it could make it work for a few months while she like really put a lot of effort into the sensi side to make that take off faster. Um, because you can get there slower, you can get there fast, just depending on how much effort you want to put in, right? Um, and so that's kind of like where that is, but I let, I mean, I've talked about it. I'm pretty open about it. And especially lately, I've talked a lot about it, but me personally, I had a lot of stuff go down, um, as far as not just moving, the moving isn't really that big of a deal. Um, moving to me is like new opportunities to tell people about Sensi, I guess. <laughs> like I'm excited about moving to Florida. There's a lot of stuff going on there and there's not very many consultants like, I could do a lot in Florida if I really want to go down there and do it, right? Um, and that was my intention here. And then I, you know, had my house broken into and all my stuff stolen. And, like, things were, like, I let myself slip into, like, a pretty solid depression. Even though I, like, don't really ever show that stuff outwardly, which is pretty unhealthy. <laughs> um, and so when you're in those, like, bad moods, it's really easy to let the bad take over and win and be what happens, you know, um, and not focus on other things, I guess. Um, and I've always, I will always believe because it, I'm completely have seen it firsthand and done it firsthand, but the more you put in, and I'm sure you feel this way, Brittany, the more you put into the business, the more you get out of it. Um, you put you put a little bit of effort into it and a lot comes out and um but if you don't put any effort nothing comes out at all <laughs> um and i was really good at putting in little to no effort and not having much happen um because i was had a lot of excuses for a lot of things and granted some excuses are totally legit i i can't say like entirely like you can't have excuses for things cuz there's definitely legit excuses and legit reasons for putting things on, you know, certain things on the back burner. So, um, but I think as far as the incentive goes and growing your business goes, like if you want it to go somewhere, like 
you're gonna, if you really want it to go somewhere and do something with it, you're going to put in enough effort to make that happen, um, regardless of what else is going on. Does that make sense? Um, and so I think that's where I, what, like, obviously this past, like, month or so I've, like, really picked up because I was, like, I keep on making all these excuses. I wasn't happy. I finally figured out what I'm doing with life and where I'm going with it. But part of that for me, I want it to include Sensi, whether that is Sensi full time or like Sensi as a serious side business with something else going on. I want it to be a serious thing. So I need to start focus focusing on it like it's a serious thing without making excuses for it. Um, and I don't know. I don't think you sat in that one with me, but at Spring Sprint, um, there was one of the breakouts that we I went to. She was talking about um, how you don't have to work your business eight hours a day like a regular business. Like that's not always a possibility for people. Um, but every day you need to have an op a quote opening time, quote closing time. And even if that means you're just working on it for half an hour one day, at least you put something into your business for that half hour. Um, and that way you know that you at least invested something um, and got something put into it versus being like, oh, I'm too busy for it. Um, and then I, And when I heard that, I was like, man, that is so true because how many times I was like, oh, I'll get to it tomorrow. Oh, I'll do this later. And I'm like, really, if I just sat down and did it, it would take me half an hour and then I would have got something out of it versus just putting it off another day. Um, and so I've been trying to do that where at the very least, you know, spend, spend 30 minutes on something business related, reaching out to customers or talking to you guys, doing this meeting, whatever it is, put some time into it to help grow myself and my business. And um, last month was really like my turnaround month and I didn't even have any parties last month. Like I've only done basket parties, the few parties I've done since moving to Chicago, since I, since I lost my car, I guess rather. Um, and last month I didn't even have any parties and I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna get sales, like eh. Um, and I was like, but that's a bad excuse. And I just told myself no more excuse excuses. And, um, I ended up with $750 in sales last month, literally by just posting stuff on Facebook, um, posting stuff on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, which are my social medias, um, and calling and contacting customers who hadn't ordered in a while. And I did not ever sit down for eight hours a day. It was like, you know, a couple minutes here to post on Facebook or a couple minutes here to message a customer or call a customer or text a customer. Um, that's literally all I did. And I was like, man, that's really horrible that all this time I've had excuses for not getting it done when I don't feel like I put a whole lot of effort into it and I got a lot out of it. So, yeah. 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 And that's great. Like the, the six mason jar wormers themselves, that's like $190 in orders. Like you're already going into next month active. <laughs> um, and, and it is, it is like thinking about things like that, like, or if a scent comes out, like thinking about who is going to like that. Um, it's nice that we see things in advance. So utilizing that, um, really paying attention. Like I've been trying to pay attention with the recruiting thing. Um, I'll be really honest. I feel like recruiting is like 
my weak point a little bit. Um, like obviously there's people on our team <laughs> where like I've, I've, I've succeeded at it at some level. Like I've gotten people to sign up. Um, but I think the thing, um, that, and I don't know, you can tell me what made you sign up Brittany, but I think most people tell me like I, one, I converted a lot of hostesses, most of almost my whole team was previous hostesses. And so, um, I'll talk about that when I get into a little of the recruiting stuff, um, a little more into that, but that's definitely a big thing is the people who are continually having parties for you or coming to parties even, um, are often the ones that are really paying attention. Um, and then I was like trying to think of how I could think outside the box and, um, or even like just use some recruiting things that I've heard. And um, one of the things I hear is to, I heard was to really pay attention to the people around you, um, your friends, whoever, um, and what they are saying or doing or um, what's going on in their life. Because if you can make a personal connection to them and why Sensi would work for them on a personal level, um, they tend to pay attention more and be more interested. So um, example being that one, we're expanding into other countries like at a rapid rate right now, which is huge if you know people people in other countries. And I was like, I don't know anybody in other countries like um, Canada, Mexico, Ireland, UK, Germany, Australia, and then Spain and France get added in September. So crazy growth. And then I remembered, wait, I totally do know somebody in Germany. Um, I haven't thought about it if I know anybody else. And where? You do? Oh my gosh, you need to reach out to them. Um, and I'll tell you why France in a second, because that one's super awesome. Germany, it's literally taken off so crazy. Like, um, they just, I believe it was, I feel like very recently they just had their very first person become a director there. Um, it has become like, it's just like taken off like fire, like fire, just crazy awesome there. Um, and then I remembered I had a friend, she came over and went to my high school for an, ex as an exchange student. Um, so like, this is like going so far back, but we've kept in touch and like we're friends on Facebook, we still talk to each other. And I was like, man, I never even thought about the fact that I even like still talk to her. Like I, like as I don't really, I guess relate like, oh, she's in Germany. Like I don't really think about it. And so I literally, she has a one year old, a daughter who just turned one. So I messaged her a couple days ago. Hey, we're, ex I, I'm sure you've seen my Sensi posts. Um, we're expanding into other countries. Um, we're adding Spain and France soon, but one of the places we're already in is Germany. Um, Sensi's really taken off there. People really love it. Um, and I love selling Sensi. It's been really good for me. I like making the extra cash every month. I have a really awesome team. Um, and it's, it's given me a, like a really good support system in life. And a lot of my friends have joined, um, specifically to, you know, make the connection here was that a lot of my friends joined because, um, they have young kids and they didn't like having to go to work every day um, and wanted to be able to spend more time with them while still making money. And this was a, a way for them to work at home. And I know you have, you know, your daughter and um, I thought it might be good if nothing else for even if you don't want to do it full time, um, that at least it would be extra cash for you guys while you're raising your daughter and, you know, like connected it that way. Um and I was like, if you're interested, like you can ask me questions or here's, you know, I gave her my join page or told her to go look at sensi.com with, to look more information up about it. Um, and you know, just kind of threw it out there. Like, I was like, what do you got to lose? Right. The worst they can say is no, not interested. And okay. Thanks for letting me talk. <laughs> um, I guess you have to get a little bit used to like being turned down, but I feel like anybody who's done any kind of sales, you're pretty used to that. Um, and so 
I literally, like, within maybe 12 hours had a response from her. Like, they're obviously on a different time schedule than we are, uh, being in Germany. But I had a response for her. I have seen your Sensi post. Um, it all looks really awesome. Totally want to check it out. Like, super positive response. And I was like, literally would never... Like, she's never liked a sensey thing. She's never said anything to me. I was like, I'm just going to offer her the opportunity because literally she'd be getting in on the ground floor. And if I had gotten in when I first heard heard about sensey, which was seven years ago, I would have got in on year three and I would be in a completely different place. So, like, to offer that to someone else, like, you can't really pass that up if you know somebody, you know? Um... So she obviously added her to the team page. You probably saw her added to the team page. So, um, and I'm going to get Sunsi to send her. They do like a mini kit thing for Europe, we're pretty sure. Um, Christine and I are pretty sure they do a mini kit thing where you can contact them and they'll send them some Sunsi stuff in their um, plugs and whatnot so they can, can try it because it's different than U.S. outlets. But um so hopefully we'll have a German teammate soon, which would be awesome. Um, and and then today I was like scrolling through my feed and I had a friend who, she's still in school. She has a little girl and uh, her and her husband do. And um, she's been working a job this summer, but she hates it. It's horrible. Um, and she complains about it all the time. Yay, hi, Brian. Um, and... It, so yeah, she hates it. She, she was like, I, it's not, it's once I go back to school, I'm only going to be able to work one or two days. It's just, I don't think it's worth the extra $50 a week. And I was like, I could offer her Sunsea and she could easily make more than $50 a week without having to go to a job and work it around her class schedule and her daughter's schedule. And, um, so just this evening before getting on this I messaged her and offered and told her all the same stuff like why I thought she would be good at it and why it would work out in her life and um I haven't got a response yet but that's okay like she may not respond but at least I threw it out there um and so I think there's a little bit of like not being afraid to just put yourself out there um and just ask if they want to join to be honest like um because again I've decided the worst they could do is tell me no and who cares if they tell me no? Okay. The idea is in their head. They know it's there. And it made no... Oh, look at look at me go to my recruiting notes because I watched a bunch of recruiting videos for you guys this week. Um, where did it go? Oh. Um, if they say no, it's okay. You have to hear no to hear yes. And no often means not right now or maybe later. Um, cause there's definitely, and I would say many people on my team who were like, nah, not really interested. And now they're on my team and they saw Sensi and they're awesome. Um, and so, uh, there's definitely that too, where at least then, cause then it gets the wheels turning. So just offering is often more than you can do. So Yeah. Any other questions about that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yay. Okay. Good question. Oh, I'm recording. I can show you guys. Um, I am going to explain it while I do it, and it'll be on this video if you want to watch it um, after I, because I'll post this. Um, so, come on, Firefox. Oh, I, I minimized it. Um, okay, so if you go to Workstation and you go to Performance, I don't know if you're doing this with me or not, but watch my internet be slow. 
think we lost Brienne a little bit. And then, yeah. You're your, you, you are, you are the director. It won't show anybody. So your name would show up under director. That would still be there. Yes. Um, okay. So then go to start leadership report. And there's a lot of things you can see when this pops up. Um, well, I can see a lot more, obviously, because I have all of you. But um, so when you pr bring up Start Leadership Report, uh, it shows like all of your levels, your consultant ID, your names, your titles, projected ranks and titles, all of that, right? Okay. So right above, um, you'll see a link right above the all those various categories, you'll see a link that says choose visible columns. Do you see that? Okay. Um, when you bring it up, there'll be like items selected and then another smaller list. Um, so there's like two lists there. You just have to find an one that says lifetime PRV and hit the plus sign next to it and then hit OK. And it's going to pop up everybody's lifetime PRV. No, you have to do it every time you want to look at stuff. Um, but that's all the columns that you could possibly need to look at are right there. Um, there's tons of stuff you can make show up. So, um, like I can look at it and I can see that you, Brittany, are only 3,200 PRV away from your 10,000 lifetime, which is awesome. And Brienne, you are halfway to yours. So, um, like it's cool to see all that, like where you guys are at and what's going on. Um, also, I'll tell you this, and I'll do it by showing mine. Um, if you click on your own name or on somebody on your team, and Brittany, you might want to select somebody on your team. That's fine, too. Um, it's going to bring up a consultant detail page about them. And so what you can see there is basically all of their information, um, their title, their join date, what brands they're signed up for. Um, whether it'll t give you a little logo if they have a bio written, which looks like the square with right with lines through it, um, or and whether they have a photo posted um, for that PWS, um, their phone number, their email, their address, um, active subscriptions. Oh, that reminds me, I need to make my my the month uh, send of the month warm of the month. Um, active subscriptions, if they're signed up for uh, either the send of the month or warmer of the month, that'll show up there. Um, all of their information for sponsor stuff. Um, and then you can pull up financial trends of how sales went um, for your group, Brittany. So if you want to know where, like, if you get into next year and you want to see how your team is doing this next year versus this year, you can pull up that information there. Um, you can do show P PRV and see PRV trends for everybody. Um, so there's all sorts of stuff there, which you maybe didn't even know. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, there's... I know... I'm like, I'm like, I've never been close to like any of my team, um, which is part of why I wanted to start having team meetings too. And Google Hangouts is pretty awesome for that. Um, one of the recruiting videos I watched actually was from a um, superstar director who 
like none of her, she has tons of people on her team and none of them live nearby. <laughs> um, and so uh, she was talking about the fact, cause she actually lives in Alaska and she has like no team members in Alaska. So um, like they had just moved there because of her husband's job. So um, all of her team is not anywhere near her. So it was really interesting to listen to her talk because she's obviously had to get creative with that stuff and how to build the team without and deal with the team and um, have meetings and talk to them and coach them without having being able to sit physically in the same room. Because I would love to be able to sit in the same room with all of you, but it's also, if you really want to grow a team, not practical to only have your team live nearby. <laughs> So, I was like, say that again? Correct. Correct. It's the two options. I'm going to mute you for a second, Brian. Um, the uh, price difference and stuff is that, um, I mean, it tells you if you go to sign up for it. Um, I have, I don't think I have it on my computer. I'd pull it up. Um, but I will share this in the team page. Um, let me see if I can find it really quickly. I have a really good graphic for um, the difference between the two and the price difference and all of that jazz um, because I try to get the sun of the month at least every month. Um, I don't always get the warmer of the month. That's totally a personal preference. Um, some people do like just like, oh, I can definitely at least sell this. Um, so... Sun of the month, and see I've got like, I've got this like super cute graphic of it all right there. Um, but sun of the month is $35, um, plus obviously tax um, and shipping, but you get $65 worth of stuff. Um, you get 10 bars, you get a room spray, you get a party tester and a mini tester, um, 50 flyers that have the warmer of the month and the sun of the month information on them. Um, and then you get uh, a packet of rub and sniff, like the scratch and sniff stickers that smell like the sun of the month. Um, so it's $65 of stuff that you get for $35. Um, the warmer of the month kit obviously has a sun of the month. So you get all of that stuff, the same stuff as the sun of the month, plus the warmer. Um, it's $100 worth of stuff and you pay $60. Um, and you get... PRV, so um, off of that, which is awesome. So for sun of the month, you get thirty-five dollar or thirty-five PRV. For warmer of the month, you get sixty PRV. Um, and so, like warmer of the month, you're almost halfway to active then just by signing up for that. Um, it, you can sign up for it from um, the well, really the twenty eighth of the month before. So like in this case, like the 28th of July through the 15th of August, you could sign up for the September one and get it. It'll post to your account on the 15th. It'll money will come out on the 15th and it'll ship on the 15th to you. Um, and you still have until the 27th of every month to get sign up for the next month's stuff. So you have until the 27th of August to sign up for September's. Um, and it'll, the 15th through the 27th, it just sends right, like it sends and charges immediately. If that, does that make sense? Okay. And I'll post that graphic. So, um, in the team page so that you guys can see it. Um, cause that will definitely, it's a good one to see, um, and the difference between the two and what the cost is and stuff. Um, it is in the work, like it's in the workstation and resources somewhere. Um, not this exact one, but there is, 
um, information there. It's all in the different areas. I know it's in the new consultant startup guide. Um, it's in a couple different spots, but sometimes it's just nice to have um, it in a, a singular little graphic about it. Um, I'm going to post it right now so I don't forget. Oh. Oh, yeah. Um, any other questions before I talk about incentive? Because incentive is pretty awesome. I'm sure incentive will bring up some questions too. All right. Um, okay. Yes, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. And if you keep talking about it, like, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of the ones that I have on my team. Um, it took a long time. Like, it's not something that everybody jumps right into. Like, some some of you it took like a year. I mean, to to get to realize that maybe it's a good idea to join. So um, it's not like something that everybody can jump into immediately. So sometimes but if you give up on them, then there's no reason for them to remember either. Um, so it's being persistent without being annoying about it. But if you're passionate, it never comes across as being annoying. There's a big difference there. Um, and so um, I'll get into some of the things I wanted to mention about that can help with recruiting and stuff. Um, but I do want to touch on what exactly is the incentive trip. Um, because, and I'll go into the other stuff because recruiting is definitely part of it. Um, but it's definitely reachable and attainable very easily. Um, if you just put a little, a little bit. And so Incentive trip, anybody's eligible um, who joins Sensi, who's already part of Sensi, or who um, joins between now and January 31st. Anybody is eligible to go on the trip as long as they are in the points. Um, so qualification started August 1st. Um, qualification ends January 31st. Don't make the mistake I did. Um, you earn an extra thousand, um, if you join September through January 31st, you earn a thousand points for joining just to make up a little bit of missing the months before. So it's like, yeah, it's just a thousand, um, credits towards the trip. Um, and it's just to make up for the fact that they missed out on part of the earning period. So, um, so it's not a, it's not a good idea necessarily. <laughs> I would not recommend putting off recruiting people because they'll earn a thousand points. Um, like you want as much time with them as possible as far as for you to earn points and for them to earn points. 
um, that thousand dollar or that thousand points is not going to um, make or break. You can easily make that up elsewhere. <laughs> um, so what amount they're calling it credits this year they're doing it a little bit different um so credits I, i'm gonna want to say points a lot but credits um if you want to go yourself you need twenty thousand credits if you want to go and take somebody with you you need thirty six thousand credits um and so just to keep that in mind if you want it for yourself twenty thousand if you want it with somebody with you um, 36,000 and that somebody else can be whoever it can be a friend a significant other whatever um, there is a caveat this year um, because people have earned it in the past just by doing crazy sales um, that was like an option in the past um, obviously sales are good and they're going to get you points and they're going to get you way more points this year really than they ever did before um, but 4,000 of the credits that you earn need to come from somewhere else. Um, and so really, that means you could do 16,000 credits in PRV over between now and January 31st and only do 4,000 credits somewhere else. And that's okay, as long as those 4,000 come from somewhere else. Does that make sense? Brianna, I tried to unmute you, but I don't think I, it's like not letting me. I don't know if you can unmute yourself. Oh, there you go. I was like, I tried to unmute you and it went, yeah. Um, um, so, it's all right. That's what happens when you have kiddos. Um, I was like, I want Brianna to be able to talk to me if she needs to, because this stuff is confusing sometimes. Um, so, you earn the trip by obviously just working your business. You host parties, you get sales, you build your team, um, help them grow, you get promoted. Um, these are all ways that you can earn points. Credits, credits. <laughs> I wanna call it points real bad. Um, so the breakdown, this is cool. Sales is obviously one of the things. So for sales, you will get one credit for every one PRV. So if you do 500 PRV in August, you get 500 credits towards the trip. Pretty cool. It used to be ranges like zero to 250 or 250 to 500, like that kind of thing. And you earned a number of points per range. This is like pure a credit for every PRV earned, which is awesome. So if you're really pushing sales and doing things, you can really get some crazy points just by doing PRV. You have six months. So, was that your cat sneezing? That's hilarious. Um, so, you know, like Brittany, like if you like literally, if you were like, oh, I really want to hit the 2000 PRV point, which I know is like a goal of yours. Um, like if you did that consistently, you could have 12,000 of your 20,000 points just from PRV. So August 1st, it's already going. You are ready. You are ready in it. It, you're automatically enrolled. You don't have to go and do anything. You are automatically already er working towards earning the trip. So um, that's actually out of compliance. It would be really awesome if you could do that, but it's out of compliance. People who do that are sketch balls and we should not trust them. Um, sometimes it's not consultants. Like sometimes it's people who bought them and then see that they can sell them and you can't do anything about that. Um, 
as far as consultants, like, who do that kind of stuff, um, eventually they get found out. There's people out there watching. So um, they get found out and shut down and lose their ability to be a consultant. So, yeah. So um, I, I try not to worry about it because, you know, they'll get what's coming to them when, <laughs> when the time comes and, um, it's not worth losing being a consultant, I guess, to sell a couple things for more than they're worth. But the scent of the month, warmer of the month is a good way. You're always going to make sure you have 60 PRV in for those. Um, and you can, you can sell them for the amount that you, you know, like, so if you do buy stuff, you can sell them for the amount we sell them for. Um, so like having stock and then going and selling them is fine. Like as long as you sell them for what sense he sells them for. Um, that was awesome. Your cat just attacked you. So that's PRV one credit for every one PRV all the way from August 1st through January 31st. So sales will help you obviously. Um, sponsoring also helps you. Um, so if you have anybody sign up between August 1st and January 31st, um, they can help you earn points. Um, so sorry, credits, credits. Um, so certified consultants is what you want to get for sponsoring. That's what they're looking at, people who certify. Um, what does it mean to be a certified consultant? What do you have to do? Nope. That's active. That's active consultant. What's certified? Certified is a rank. So when you sign up, you're an essential consultant, and then you become a certified consultant. What do you have to be to get to get to certified? A thousand PRV. So if you have somebody join your team and they earn a thousand PRV, it doesn't matter when they do it as long as it happens within the qualification period, within the six months. So as long as anybody who joins your team starting August 1st through the end of the qualification, they and they hit certified, get to, they hit that thousand PRV, um, they'll earn you credits. So your first person certified would get you a thousand credits. Your second person certified is fifteen hundred credits. Your third person certified and then anybody thereafter is two thousand credits each. And certified is one that people hit pretty easily. What? Um, well, they hit promotion. So um, I'll get to that because there's definitely um, personal promotion levels too. So, um, yeah. So, <laughs> so anybody um, who joins a team and certifies is going to get you credits. Um, and then, so that's sponsoring. Does that make sense? The big goal is to get them to certify. Most people, if they join and they get to certify, they hit that thousand, that thousand PRV mark. Um, they're in it pretty solidly. Um, they're pretty self-sufficient. They're, they're, um, I mean, obviously there's always questions. I mean, right. You're, we're doing this because there's questions about things. Like you're always going to be leading a team and have questions come to you, but, um, they're at least going out and getting sales and working their business at that point. So, um, getting them to certify it is really important. Um, so that's sponsoring. So you have sales and sponsoring, um, and then you have frontline promotions. Um, so they can earn you points by promoting. Um, so the more they promote, um, the more that you can earn. So getting them to, to certified 
gets you the thousand, the fifteen hundred, the two thousand based on how many you have in going right now. Um, but if they promote beyond that, so if they promote promote to lead, they you get fifteen hundred credits. If they promote to star, you get two thousand credits, and so on and so forth. So any promotions by them get you um, more credits. And the holiday season is huge for promoting for people. Um, people like to join during the holiday season because Christmas money and saving up for next summer, next year's vacation and all sorts of things. So um, it's actually an easier time to get people to promote um, and get people to join. So that's part of the reason they always do it at this time because in theory it's the easiest time to do it. Um, fall time is like explosion time when it comes to joining. Um, I don't know if I went back to my page. Most of you guys, um, let me pull this up. I'll, it'll show up in the video because um, most of you guys joined in the in the fall at some point. Um, I had a lot. Like my first my first year when I was like crazy. I went from joining in March. I joined the end of March, um, and I went from joining in March to um, having a five person team and becoming a star consultant in August. <laughs> um, and I'm still in the car to tell you how bad I've become at doing things and why I'm trying to be cool again. Um, and, and do work. My business is that I'm still a star consultant cause that's where I stayed. Cause I didn't work it past that, um, the way I should have. So, um, but it's very easy if you really work your business to keep growing and do and get where you want to be. So, um, I mean, I literally went from essential consultant to star consultant in like five, five or six months. So, um, then, um, if they make lead, you not only get the extra 1500 credits, but that means they have somebody on your team or on their team. So you guys. I'm going to pull up. This will be on the video, too. Um, you guys have all seen the the chart, right, that shows um, all of the different levels of Sensi and the what it takes to promote to the different levels, right? Yep. It's not just one. You get it for each each step you hit. Um, so you guys have all seen the compensation plan, right? Okay, so the compensation plan um, to promote to lead. So lead is where you are, Brittany. So you know, um, do you remember the qualifications you had to hit to get lead? Oh yeah, you've been lead. You've been lead for a while. And you, until, um, until you hit director, um, you stay, you may not, um, get paid at your, at your title, but you maintain your title. Does that make sense? Um, so like, correct. Correct. So like. Like last month, I don't think you hit lead numbers, but you're still a lead consultant. You just got paid at certified consultant level. Does that make sense? Yeah. So um, once you hit lead, you have you have to have a, at least one person on your team in order to become a lead consultant. Um, and so, and the reason that is, is because one of the things for becoming a lead consultant is you have to have one active frontline consultant. Um, and so that means you have to have at least one person on your team who sells at least $150. Um, and then um, once you become lead and all the way up to superstar director, your PRV has to be at least 500. So that's why when I talk about sales goals, I always encourage at least 500 because getting into the habit of 500 a month We'll make sure that when you do have a team, you're going to get paid at your rank as long as they're pulling their weight too. Does that make sense? So if you're hitting 500 and then you're encouraging your team to all hit 500, like you're easily going to hit your numbers for 
your position, your rank. It's all right. Um, so like lead consultant um, is where I always, you try to at least get to that um, because when you hit lead, you're putting in at least 500 PRV, your group wholesale volume, and group wholesale volume is 75% of your total sales. Um, so your group wholesale volume has to be 1,000, which means that your team sells at least, it's like 1,333 or something like that to make a 1,000 group wholesale volume. Um, and so somewhere around 1,300. I've, I always forget what the exact math is. Uh, but around 1,300, you're making a 1,000 group wholesale volume. Um, and then one of those frontline is active. Um, and then you start making bonuses based on that. Um, and so if you're hitting, um, if you're doing that and you are um, teaching your people to get to lead, you're getting 1500 plus you got a thousand for them for certifying or 1500 or 2000, depending on where they, how many people you've recruited this fall. Um, and then they're, they're obviously getting, getting points off their promotions too, because the next step is personal promotions. Um, and so if you promote, you earn points. So you want to put in sales, you want to sponsor people, you want the people you sponsor to promote, and then you personally want to promote. Those are all the ways that you can earn points, credits. credits. Um, and so if you promote, you earn. So we have two people on the team who aren't at certified yet. Um, your Miranda, both Mirandas actually. So your Miranda and my Miranda, Brittany, um, are both just under certified. Um, so if they promote to certified, they both get a thousand credits automatically. Um, most of the team is at certified consultant, but could very easily with only some sales and one recruit, um, you can promote to lead and you get 1500 credits for that. So Brianne, Libby, April, Marissa, and the other Brittany, um, can all get 1500 credits for their promotion to lead. And then, so it, it goes up. The higher you promote, the more credits you get for it. And Brittany, if you would hit star, you would get 2000 credits. Um, so sales, point for every PRV, or credit for every PRV you make. Sponsoring, you get more credits the more people you sponsor, um, as long as you certify them. Frontline promotions, so everybody who promotes on your frontline, you get points for them. Um, and then personal promotions, if you promote you personally, you get points for every time you promote. It's, it's an initial investment. That's like the thing I tell people like, and I can post too. I have, um, like pictures comparing candles to Scentsy. Like if people are candle people and they like go out and buy a Yankee candle, um, which lasts very few hours in comparison, um, the price difference is outrageous at how much cheaper Scentsy is. Um, and so, and it's, healthier and not disgusting and you're not like there's a lot of benefits obviously you guys know the benefits I don't need to talk you into Scentsy um you're already there but um I have like some comparison stuff for that too because people who say it's expensive I'm like you're investing once in the warmer which is some of them almost is, or are as much as what you would spend on a jar candle <laughs> And then you're only investing in wax when you need it, um, and that's way cheaper than a candle. Um, and then talking her into a party, she can get all of it for free or half priced. Show her some of your other parties and how much they've earned, Brittany. That'll help convince too. Like you have some stuff like, oh, you know, my 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 hostess earned, um, you know, like. 
$300 worth of stuff and only paid $75, like, who isn't going to go and, and host a party? Like, that's crazy if you don't want to host a party when you know that that can happen, you know? Cost comparisons like that are always good. Because people don't think about it in that way. So if you if you put it out there, that often helps people. So yes. So we're all going to go on this cruise, right? We're going to work it together. That's that's the deal. Are you raising your hand, Brian? or are you playing with your cat? <laughs> that's, no. It looked like you raised your hand, so I wanted to make sure I called on you if you needed me. Um, and No, no, you're fine. Um, and what was I going to say? Oh, so the, the cruise to Puerto Rico is June 13th through 20th. I should probably say that. Um, and if that doesn't work for you, you can also um, earn instead you can earn the Sensi Family Reunion, which I hope you guys are all saving for and all going to be at, because it's in Vegas, baby. Um, and that was my first family reunion, and it was awesome. And it's going to be more awesome this year. And, um, yeah, it's at the MGM Grand. You can't go wrong with that. That's freaking sweet. So, um, and... Sensi Family Reunion is July 20th through 24th. So you can put those on the calendar. Um, it's 20th through 24th if you are you doing it as a as your incentive trip. Um, it's the 21st through 23rd if you are attending. Um, just if you are in the if you want to earn the cruise and then just attend Sensi Family Reunion, the 21st through 23rd is the actual reunion part. So. If you want to mark those down, request them off from work or whatever. Um, those are those are the dates. What? They over the if you choose Sensi Family Reunion for your incentive trip, they overlap. Um, they did the same thing for St. Louis this year, and it went really really well, and was actually um, the most popular incentive trip option, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, people wanted to do that versus go to the Bahamas. So um, it was crazy. Like they had a crazy amount of people who wanted it. So the way they do that is um, this year they added two days beforehand, but this time they're doing the two extra days because it's always a week for the trips. Um, they're adding them before and after convention. So um, if you earn the trip and you want to do Sensi Family Reunion for your trip instead of the cruise, say the dates work better for you or that's just what you want to do, um, Sensi Family Reunion for incentive earners is July 20th through 24th. So there'll be a whole bunch of extra things, extra stuff to attend, extra events, all sorts of stuff that they do extra for people who... Um, earn that as their incentive trip. Does that make sense? To do both, you would do, um, you would earn the incentive, you would go on the cruise, and then you would pay to go to Sensi Family Reunion, which is just the three days, like normal, the 21st through the 23rd. Yeah. So I, my plan is to earn the cruise because, uh, yes, Puerto Rican cruise on that, not missing that. Um, and then I'll pay, obviously, to go to Sensi Family Reunion. Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you choose Sensi Family Reunion as your incentive trip, earning um it covers everything and it's the same for both so like if you earn it or if you earn incentive and you choose the cruise it pays for your flight because the cruise actually um leaves and comes back to um puerto rico so you're actually gonna fly from your home to puerto rico to get on the cruise ship so 
Um, it pays for your flights. It pays for the cruise. It pays for any food, any extracurricular things that are done. It's all entirely, it's completely all inclusive. Um, they give you spending money. You get a per diem to have spending money so you can buy your gifts or whatever you want to take home with you. Um, it's crazy. It's, it's awesome. Like every, yeah, gambling money, whatever you want to use it for, that's what they do. Um, so, and then Sensi Family Reunion, it pays for your flight, your flights to and from Vegas. It pays for your room at the MGM Grand. It includes all of the activities. It includes your Sensi Family Reunion registration. Um, it includes, uh, your, like, it includes stuff, it includes meals, um, Pull that up actually. Again, you guys won't be able to see this, but it'll be on the video. Um, where did you go? So many things to make sure. I thought I put it in. I'm like scrolling through my. Um, things that I saved. Where did I put it? I thought I had it. Um, this video is going to be hilarious and you guys are going to see all the crazy sensey things I have in my computer. Um, oh, maybe I don't have it saved yet. Oh, yes I do. Ha ha ha. I know where it is. It's in a completely different spot. Is it this one? It might be this one. Yes. Okay. So I'm pu pulling up it. This is in resources on the workstation. Um, the different things about it. So the come sail away incentive trip, um, you fly to San Juan, Puerto Rico to get on the cruise ship. It includes your flights, your lodging, your meals, all obviously every, all the things that um, are included activity wise um, on the cruise. And then um, you get a per diem for spending money. Um, it stops in St. Croix, Phillipsburg, St. John's, the Castries and Bridgetown, and then goes back to San Juan. Um, so that's pretty awesome. The Sensi reunion incentive, um, it covers your flights, your lodging at the MGM Grand, um, any ground transportation to and from things, um, your meals, um, access to obviously all of convention, um, various entertainment, the product reveals and everything that happens with SFR, um, and then anything else that happens. So um, like there's always like various, there we go, um, concerts, there's all sorts of things that go on that are extra. Um, I should have made Jackie come on and talk about it. Jackie actually, um, Jackie Jones did the Sensi Family Reunion as her incentive trip this year because she had a baby and couldn't do the other one. So, um, so she did that. So they leave like, they leave gifts on your bed when you're gone during the day. Like there's all sorts of things. It's, it's crazy. There's, it's insane. So, um, so yeah, it includes everything. You literally don't have to worry about any money coming out of your pocket for anything unless you spend all of your per diem money they send you, um, which is always, I, it's been crazy. I've got told how much it is for the, it's, it's different for every chip, obviously, depending on where you're going, but it's a lot of money. And if you spend all of that, then obviously it's out of pocket, but, um, there's really, unless you're really going crazy, um, no reason that you should have to spend anything out of pocket on any of those trips. So it's pretty awesome. Cruise. It's mine. It's happening. I feel it. Yeah. To go... Um, to go just to reunion, no. Anybody can go to reunion. You just have to pay to go.
the credits are just to earn the full incentive. So if you, you will earn credits, obviously, because you're all going to sell things. So you're at least going to earn PRV credits. Um, but if you don't hit the 20,000 credits, then you won't earn the trips. But Sensi Family Reunion is open to everybody. So that part of it, you can always pay to go. But your credits don't count for anything unless you earn the full 20000 um, to earn the trip. <laughs> well, then they're just giving, giving things away. Um, the nice thing about um, it being in Vegas, actually, is Vegas is super cheap. Um, flights to Vegas are cheap. Um, hotels in Vegas are cheap. Literally, our ho me and Aaron Jones shared a hotel room the first year. We didn't have anybody else. It was literally just the two of us. That's how cheap the hotel room was. The hotel room for the nights... Friday, we left on, we came in on Tuesday and left on Saturday. Friday night was a $90 night. <laughs> the other nights were $30 a piece and not individually, total. <laughs> so like the room itself, we, it was like, what is that? Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we paid $180 for <laughs> for the hotel room split two ways. So, um, the hotel rooms there are cheap and actually Sensi had not released the dates and stuff for things um, because they were working on this deal with the MGM Grand and um, they want people, they've booked a crazy deal for the MGM and getting hotel rooms there um, that are supposed to make them even like cheaper than they normally would be. So. Um, just because it's going to be so many people and like a big event for them. So, um, obviously those prices and stuff aren't out yet, but it's supposed to be crazy. So, um, it's pretty awesome because Vegas is just, it's a cheap city to go visit. Oh no, we lost Brian. Um, but so definitely like saving money up for Vegas, like not, not that big of a deal because it's literally one of the cheapest trips I've ever taken. <laughs> so. And really paying for Sensi Family Reunion, if you do the payment plan, it's like 50 bucks a month for the five months leading up to reunion. And that's pretty easily doable um, as long as you're budgeting for it. And like if you save up money starting now, by the time... March rolls around and it's time to sign up there to go there. It won't even be a question. So I always encourage people like if you think it's going to be a lot, then start now, save 20 bucks a month or 30 bucks a month, whatever you can do and put it, start putting it aside. Um, and then, you know, you're going to have, have some money when that comes around and you're not going to feel like it's a crazy amount all up front. So Um, yeah. Oh yeah. I was like that, that chart is crazy. Like it ends up being like $1,300 a year later. And I'm like, um, $1,300 will like help you. Well, you can survive in Vegas on $1,300. Like ridiculously. I was like, literally, if you, if you followed that chart and ended up with 13, $1,300, you, I think I said 13,000. I'm at 1300. Um, if you end up with that $1,300, so 250 of it is your convention charge. So then you're left with 1,050. I just told you that our hotel room for the, for the week was $180. And so if you're dividing that up, even if you say, say you got a room by yourself, $180. Okay. Now you have $900. You buy a flight We'll round up and say it's a $300 flight. Leaves you with $600 to spend while you're there. That's outrageous. 
and things are just not that expensive in Vegas. So, um, yeah, that that saving chart is pretty awesome. So, and if you if you don't like it in that order too, like um, you could easily be like like cross off the ones you've done. So like maybe do like like flip flop. So like one week do the one dollar, one week do the fifty two, one week do the one fifty two, and flip flop. So that way, when by the time you kind of spread it out evenly, um, you can do it that way too. If you don't like having to do the big amounts at the end. Um, recruiting things I do want to talk about since obviously recruiting is a big part of earning it. And I want you guys to earn it, and I want you to earn it with me, and I want us to all be on that cruise getting sunburned together. Because <laughs> I don't tan, I just burn. Um, so things that I want you to do, and I will um, write this down. Um, I'm going to actually write it in the chat thing. So this is in um, your workstation in the training center. It's a very attractive... Um, view of me um, and this is under the recruiting area but you can also just search for it um, I can't type there we go and it's called treasure boxes post that there um, and the cool thing about that is um, it is a way to talk about your sensi journey and make it visual um, at your parties and I think it's I I literally stumbled upon it and I was like this is brilliant um, it's a great way to talk about the company and why you joined and what it does for you and it's a fun way to do it and it's relatable so literally it's one of the superstar directors she has a bucket and in it she's got a bunch of stuff things like photos of her family and her, her kid, Brian, you could put a picture of your daughter in there. Um, you could put a picture of your adorable puppy, Brittany. Um, you could put in, like, play money that you get paid to party. Um, they She put extra a packet of extra gum in hers and talked about the how Sensi provides extra things in her life. Um, she found a little pig and talked about how it helps her save money, like a little piggy bank. Um... She put in like hobby related stuff um, that Sensi has helped her pay for. Uh, she put in, and we can't do this yet, but we will be able to add it after our cruise, but um, put in mementos from her various trips she's earned. Um, you could put in mementos from trips that you've gone on that Sensi's helped paid for. Like if you use Sensi money to go visit me at Disney World, um, which you all should do. Um, you could put something in there from Disney and say that, you know, you use your Sensi money to go visit Disney, um, whatever you wanted to do. Um, you could put in a little figurine of a house or a car if Sensi helps pay for your house or your car. Um, you could put in an old credit card if it helped you pay off a credit card. Uh, all sorts of things like that. So, I thought that was like really clever. And so then you don't forget to talk about how Sensi's helped you either because you pull those things out as you talk about it. And I was like, that's really cute. What a good idea. It's visual, it's kind of fun. Um, and then it gets people's wheels turning of how Sensi could benefit them. So you're talking about yourself and how it's helped you, but all of a sudden they're thinking of all the things that Sensi could help them with if they joined your team. So good, right? So I encourage you guys to go watch that one. Um, a couple other things I was going to bring up. Um, the other one that I really liked, and I'm going to encourage you guys kind of as homework to go watch these since this is like an hour and a half long almost. Um, and I don't want to like make anybody crazier than I have to. This one is also in the workstation, training center. Wow, you guys are gonna see how bad of a typer I am. Under the recruiting, and it's called Jump Start Your January, which seems like a weird one to watch. Um, but a lot of the same things that happen at that time of the year are happening now. 
Um, so like Bring Back Your Bar just happened, which happens in January. Um, it's heading into February, which is what happens in August, which is the recruiting bonus stuff. Um, and so she just talks about a lot of really good ways to um, grow your team, um, how to recruit, uh, some really good ideas for creating sales, um, ways to connect to customers on a personal level. Because, Brianne, before you joined, I was um, talking about um, how reaching out to people on a personal level and finding a way why thing, things will work for them personally versus just like, oh, it can make you extra money. Well, why is that important to them um, is a really big deal, making that connection. Um, things about like making weekly calls to customers, definitely something I struggle with because it's like for some reason super uncomfortable to make a phone call anymore these days. Like that used to be all we had, but it seems awkward now. Um, but things to bring up if you are top calling customers um, and a way to do that and following up with customers. Um, it's got a lot of stuff on there about that and just really reaching out and um, some Facebook stuff to talk about. Um, just really, really awesome. Um, and so I definitely, those two, the treasure boxes and jumpstart your January, I want everybody to go watch. Um, and then, this is creating my list on the side, list of 100. Fill it out. Um, we are all going to fill out our list of 100. Um, filling it out regularly is great. Um, I will, that's also in, it's in the workstation under resources um, or it's in the new consultant guide. Uh, but just filling out people who um, we think would, could join, people we think could host, people we think would buy. Um, it could be people who haven't bought for you, from you in a while and you want to reach out to them. I'm okay with that. Um, just fill up that list as far and as full as you can. The longer you sit on it, usually the more it fills up. People think they don't know that many people and it turns out you do. Um, it can be acquaintances for this. Um, and then on your list of 100, star anyone who you think could benefit from joining and why that way right in front of you you have a list of people to contact um, and talk to you about it um, and obviously this is a great month to join um, but talking to them about it and being genuine like I said um, and when you rewatch it you'll see but I had a couple stories at the beginning about my friend in Germany and another friend um, who hates her job and has a baby and is going back to school. Um, and obviously, I'm sure you could think of a million reasons why those are very useful, why Sensory would be useful to them, but making it personal is huge when you want people to come back um, and join your team. Um, and just being excited. I love, like, I have no idea if if or what made made you guys start posting all the time these past this past week but I love it I love when I go to my feed and see you guys like um and whatever light lit that fire like that's what we're gonna keep going for the next six plus months obviously it's gonna be all past incentive but um after six months it's gonna be a pretty solid habit to be that that on fire about it and um we're gonna do that together so we can earn awesome trips and make a lot of money and be cool together because we're already pretty cool but we could be cool on a cruise ship that would be neat i would love to have as many of you on that cruise ship and like take a big group picture and be like we're hella awesome we are in this cruise and nobody had to pay money for it um and so that's what i want that's what i i think is totally doable for our team and um i love the excitement because i feel um the more, the more you share, the more people notice you. People worry about people being annoyed by it. The people who are annoyed by your passions aren't people who need to be around in your life. Um, and they can easily block you and that's in, in what you post and that's fine and that's their doing. Um, but the people who love you and support you love that you're passionate about it. And um, 
being embarrassed about that is stupid um, <laughs> because like that never gets you anywhere. I, I feel like I've spent a lot of my life worrying about what other people think and being concerned that I'm offending somebody. And maybe it's my like completely deciding what I want to do with my life these past few months and realizing that no one else is going to make me happy but me. Um, and that's, that's got me really pumped up. But, um, if Sensi is what I'm passionate about, then I'm going to post about it. If I'm feeling photography that day, I'm going to post about it. Um, if I'm feeling like saying something completely stupid, I'm going to post it. Um, and people will get used to it. Right. So, um, I, again, I got $750 in sales last month because I posted about Sensi on Facebook. That's nothing to sneeze at. Like, if I had had parties last month too, imagine where my sales would have been. That's insane. That's crazy talk. Post on Facebook. <laughs> don't don't be embarrassed by it. Because um, again, the people who love you will support that passion and um, support it by telling people about you and support it by buying from you and um, support it by being there for you and being excited for you um, when you hit your different milestones. So. Any other questions? What brand? I missed it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's true. Brittany asked good questions, so people have to go back and watch the beginning. Brianne. Yeah. Um, it depends on the person. Um, the fact that she's already asking about joining means she's pretty much there already. Um, and so it may be, it may be beneficial to be like, talk more about like what she gets in by joining now. Um, talk about how she can in earn the incentive trip with you by joining now. Um, that would be a huge cause joining now she could easily be on the cruise with us. Um, because she has the full six months to do it. Um, talking about that stuff, since it's, she's probably pretty much, she's probably like 90% of the way there. She's already asking how to join. Um, not a bad idea is to tell her that if she's serious about joining and she's asking about it, if she wants to host the party and try to work towards that $500 and then join at the end of her party and have that be her launch party, that is not a bad idea for someone like that because that could push her. Um, so basically you would lend her materials to have a party, go and help her host it and do that and it would be her launch party. Um, and then if she hits that, because the benefits of hitting that 500, right, she get shooting star on her first day of putting in her orders, right? So she joins, she goes in, enters this launch party. Immediately on day one, she's got her shooting star award already. So she could very easily hit certified in her first two weeks then because another $500 gets her certified. Um, she, on her first paycheck, earns back the $99 by hitting that 500 so that might be more of a more of a benefit to someone like that who's already talking about joining. Um, the you can still talk about like what it's done for you and why you love it. Um, that definitely helps. But I think going more towards like earning her joining um, and like earning the cruise and that kind of stuff um, would be more pushing for her than to just host a party. 
make the hosting of the party be her launch party is what I would do. Um, the hosting would be good for people who are curious about Sensi uh, because it's a way just in general because it's a way for you to introduce the passion from your standpoint. Um, and then after the party or at the end of the party, talk to them about joining. Um, but she sounds like she's already there. <laughs> I think, I think you can, I think you can get that one. <laughs> so. Be confident about it. You're going to get her. You've got this. Um, yeah, talk to her about the cruise. Tell her you want to earn it and you want her to be there with you. Um, having a buddy always is helpful um, for anything. And then uh, talk to her about hosting to earn the $99 back immediately and earn her shooting star award. Like you can show her the new consultant guide. You can show her the incentive trip stuff. Anything that is on your resources that you want to show her about what being a member of this team is, go ahead and show her. You can add her to our team page if you're Facebook friends. I'm completely okay with that. So, yep. I think people forget about that too. Like, what, Brittany? Um, they're probably a little behind. Um, <laughs> I know they re, um, la this past spring, they re did the bracelets so that they were a better quality. Um, so they were really behind for a while on them. Um, but if you heard an, a we're sorry from them, that means you're still on their list. So you're okay. And pretty soon you'll have your 10K to go on your bracelet. And that one is so sparkly, it's real awesome. <laughs> yep, you sure will. I predict, Brittany, you will have your 10K in the next two months. That's my prediction. Yep, yep. Screw all the other jobs. Fortune consult, the fortune dollar and sensi consultant on it. But yeah, so homeworks, treasure boxes, jumpstart your January, list of 100. And the jumpstart your January will tell you what to do with the list of 100. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I actually want, I thought about, um, and, and you too, since you're here, you get to have an opinion. Um, next month's meeting. So I figure Sunday nights are good. And now we have a month cause I figure we'll just do it on like the first Sunday of every month, um, as a continuing thing for right now. Um, and we can change it if we need to, but first Sunday evening of every month, but then um, doing a craft next time. We'll virtually craft together. Um, but a really good one is, um, a really cool craft is actually making, um, and it, it got bumped in the Fresh Sense page not too long ago, a couple days ago, um, using your old testers as like business cards basically. Like you create a sticker with your information on it, put it on the lid, um, and you can make them into magnets or whatever, or just leave them places. Cause then it's got your information on it. Plus it's a smelly thing for them to like, kind of understand that it smells good. Um, and that way you can carry old testers with you and leave them random places, which is awesome. Cause I have a million old testers that I would love to do that too. Um, and I thought that would be a good one for all of us to do as a team virtually and kind of hang out together. Good idea, bad idea. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, good. But you, can you hear me? That's all that's important. Brienne likes it. Um, and those you can get. They went on sale August 1st. Um, a bunch of the... A bunch of the Scentsy Family Reunion new stuff is now up in the family store. Good, good call out there. Um, yes, and those are cute molds too. They're really, really cute. Um, so, yeah, pretty awesome. And then I have gifts going out to all y'all that went active. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It is not a Scentsy mold, so you can go ahead and buy a Scentsy mold. Um, but they are coming soon. I'm waiting on things to get to me. Um, what was I going to say? There was something else I just thought of. Do, 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 do. Crafting. Mm, I don't remember what else I was going to say. I lost it. Yeah, I'll post it if I remember. Um, but yeah, so that's that. That was good. I feel good about that meeting. There was a lot of information there, so, um... I'm going to upload this crazy video, which will probably take 100 years, to YouTube um, so people can watch it um, and post that link in the team page so the people that missed tonight can watch it. Um, I'll post the homework so people can do that because um, everybody needs fun homework. Um, and yeah, sweet, sweet, sweet action, Jackson. Let's all earn that cruise. Enjoy your sleep. Bye, Brittany. Bye, Brian. Bye, everybody else.